What's going on guys? Today we are going to be making a cheesy cauliflower risotto. You may have heard of risotto before. It's commonly featured on the TV show Chopped on Food Network. Contestants will commonly want to up the difficulty level and they end up serving the judges raw, crunchy rice. It happens like almost every episode. We have a fix for that. We're making it with cauliflower, which you can actually make in under 30 minutes. To start, we have one head of cauliflower chopped here and we chopped it so that it will fit in the food processor, which we're gonna be using to turn this cauliflower into rice. So just add your cauliflower. And if you guys aren't familiar with risotto, it's kind of comparable to like grits, like Southern grits that you make with cheese. It's like a rice dish, but it's more like liquidy. I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's creamy, it's a creamy rice dish. So for flavor, we're gonna be using the cheese. We're also gonna be using onion and garlic. So I have the pre-minced garlic here. This is just nice and convenient. So we're gonna use that. You could use fresh garlic, and then I'm gonna use a freshly chopped onion. About a third of this one here. And you wanna chop it pretty finely because the idea with this risotto is it should be creamy, like one even consistency each bite. There's no like chunks, there's no big differences in texture. This is not how you chop an onion. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna use this saucepan. We're gonna get that heating. And we're gonna melt half a stick of butter and then cook down the onions and the garlic first. Get that in there melting down. Now if you are trying to do dairy free, a lot of people seem to be doing that lately. You could do coconut oil, but then you really got to leave out the cheese, which is like the big flavor component of the dish. So it might not be as good. What else you could do, which would be pretty good, is use a little bit of coconut oil, but then use some coconut cream and make it more like a Thai risotto thing. I don't even know if Thai risotto is a thing. And I just call everything Thai that has coconut in it. We're gonna add the onion, and you want one clove of minced garlic. I find that the pre-minced stuff that's like in a squeeze bottle, it's not as strong. Would you agree? Yeah. Probably like a good tablespoon worth of this. We're gonna stir this for two to three minutes just till everything's cooked down, tender, flavorful. That is looking good to me. I'm gonna add the cauliflower and this will really just absorb all the butter. Now make sure you're stirring this around. I would even add more butter, I think. I think I'm gonna do that because we have um, a lot of cauliflower, I think a little too much relative to the butter. I'm gonna add the rest of the stick, but that's optional. That's not gonna be included in the nutrition when you go to the blog post. And if you guys are new to the channel, all of our recipes are posted on our food blog, ketoconnect.net. Okay, so this is cooking pretty well. Just to speed up the process, I'm gonna skip to the next steps. So we're gonna add the mushrooms. I like to just eyeball based on how much I want relative to the rest of the dish. So I'll do like a couple big handfuls. The recipe calls for a cup and a half. I think I'm gonna do closer to a cup. And then I'm also gonna add the chicken broth. The recipe calls for a third cup, but you can also eyeball that. Just get some liquid in there. And we also have some heavy cream on deck. So there's gonna be more liquid going into this. So don't be afraid if it doesn't all kind of get creamy yet. And just keep stirring it. I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit, let it simmer for three to five minutes, just kind of evaporate some of the chicken broth. We're getting to the home stretch here. This is really getting creamy. Check that out. Really creaming up over here. So, there's still a little bit of liquid. There's more reduction to take place, but I'm gonna add one cup of Parmesan cheese. Let that get in there all nice and melty. One half cup of heavy cream. This is also gonna add to the creaminess factor. Of course, I'm gonna eyeball that. You're basically on chopped. I am. And then all that's left to do is the seasonings. We're gonna do thyme. Thyme adds really nice flavor to this set of flavor profiles we already got going. About a teaspoon. Yeah, fresh thyme would definitely elevate this like at the very end. That's what you would do if you were really on chopped. The secret ingredient for chopped is always the sob story. What's yours? I don't know, but I'd make one up. A Little bit of salt. A Lot of salty ingredients in here already, but there's also a lot of cauliflower, which is kind of bland. So factor that in. And then we're gonna do some freshly ground pepper and then just stir that together. Let it reduce down. Oh my goodness, look at that. So we're gonna let this simmer for a few minutes. Look at this, come in here. See how creamy that is? And we're back, the risotto is finished and check it out guys. So just follow the recipe, don't get creative like me. You can see there's a little bit of fat on the outside there, that's because I had the extra stick of butter or the extra half a stick. Really nice and creamy. And what I would do for serving this, some more Parmesan cheese right on top. Just a little bit. 
So people know there's cheese in it. I like to do that. Some pepper right on top, I would do too. And that is just a lovely dish. It could be a side dish. I would probably have this with some meat on top, like chicken would go really good with this, grilled chicken breast on top, and that would be dinner. But let's give this a try. One of the best recipes we've ever made. The flavors are so concentrated because the cauliflower really like soaks them all up. You let it reduce so much. You could probably do more cheese too. Overall, really good recipe. Doesn't take that long because it seems like a really fancy recipe, but you can get this whole thing done in about 20 minutes. The instructions on how to make it, all the ingredients, that is linked in the description of this video. Takes you to our food blog, ketoconnect.net. The whole recipe is there. So check that out. Thanks for watching.